Welcome back to Lesson 6. Today we're going to do something that's very easy but very important as you work with pivot tables. If you've ever showed somebody a report and said, ah, I don't believe that number, that number's too high or too low or something's wrong with that number, the ability to drill down in pivot tables will be absolutely critical. So once again, we're going to start where we left off and we're going to simplify things quite a bit. We're going to take the referring physician that we grouped and take those out and then let's move this referring physician out as well. So now what we have is just new consults by year and I'm going to move year over here and let's look at a field we haven't looked at yet and consult level and if you ever find that this pivot table field list is kind of in the way and you can't see everything you want to see here one way to move it is to go into the options menu and hide the field list and now we can see everything. What I'm going to do is select multiple columns at once, go to column width and shrink this down to 10 so that it all fits on one screen and we can go back click within the pivot table. Now we have room for the field list and everything's okay. So what I've done here is I looked at the E&M code that was built for each of these new patients and there's level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 and level 5 and what we're going to do for these uh, for this ENM visit level is we're going to look by year and say well what I want to understand is this these 84 I want to understand who those 84 are so we're going to use some of the things we've done in the past we're going to go through just select 2007 and then we're going to move that years back there and let's bring the doctors down and let's see who's referring those 84. So the next thing we want to do is make the consult level. I only want to see level 5 so we'll take that off and put level 5 on. And Now we're back and we can easily see those 84 in the detail and let's assume that you know Dr. Degas is clearly the highest and he says there's no way I'm the highest I don't believe that. Fast and easy way to drill down in a pivot table is to highlight the cell that you want and double click. And that fast Excel goes through and it looks at all the fields we got insurance and new consult date and location, patient, doctor, referring physician, the treatment code and the consult level. All of those that are stored in the initial data we started with, Excel goes through and it creates a new sheet called Sheet 2. If you look at the data tab, that this is has all the data and you'll see it has the same order that we have here. What Sheet 2 does is it just takes the pieces we want with that same data and puts it right in front of sheet one and we, there's the 32 and here are the 32 patients. So you can easily go back and say, hey Dr. Degas, here you are and we can scroll down and say, look, there's your 32. They're all level five and we can sort through and look at the diagnosis code, who the referring physician was. We can uh, look at who the patient was, where you saw them, the date and e these drop down arrows will allow you to easily sort and filter and do other things that we'll cover in another lecture. The simple lesson for this lesson six is that any time you want to see the detail, if you want to only see these five, you highlight the cell and double click, and there you have it. And you see Excel created another sheet here, sheet three, and if you say I don't need sheet two anymore, you can easily go through and delete that sheet without ever touching your data. Your data is still over here, and we haven't done anything to that. And we can delete these five as well. What Excel does is anytime you double click on this 15, it creates a brand new copy of the data. Your original data is still safely wherever you left it and this data tab is where mine is. But now I have an extra sheet and I can easily see the details. So if there's ever a question about where some of the data in a pivot table came from, very easy to drill down and look at numbers and find out exactly what it is. And again, like we did, you can drill, you can first filter. So we're only looking at 2007, we're only looking at level five E&M codes and then drill down and Excel makes it really easy to get to the bottom of some of these numbers and let you do more analysis. I hope you found that drill down piece helpful. We'll talk more in lesson seven. Thanks for watching.